Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzula here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to load some Manga Studio brushes. So don't mind Yoda here. He's just one of my paintings that I use for my backdrop here. So I'm showing you my personal desktop space. Welcome to my world, folks. Welcome. All right, so at any rate, let's load Manga Studio because I know a few people have had problems. I made these custom brushes and uploaded them. Uh, for everybody to get from my Gumroad page and uh, at a price of course just want to make sure you know that there's uh, some free ones but they're uh, not the Manga Studio ones currently there will be some uh, free Manga Studio ones over time so I wanted to explain how to do this because it seems a bit confusing but it's really not it's just you know obviously like anything else once you know how to do it it's actually pretty easy um, you don't have to load another window but Make sure that, you know, if you can, you got to leave, well, you have to, you got to leave the opening in uh, so you can see through to the back. So I've got the brushes right here. I'll go ahead and open those. And then now if I load Mango Studio, it'll, I can still grab from here and pull to here. So I'll show you how that works. So I'll go to my uh, subtool palette or subtool pen. Um, I believe this is called a palette. And I've already got them loaded. So I think I'll have to load them and then just delete them back out of here uh, so I'm going to show you two ways of doing this so once you get the brushes from my uh, download you once you unzip them uh, or you can download them uh, individually you'll get what you see here I, I gave them numeric values in the beginning of it so you could basically uh, find them a little bit easier once you get used to a brush instead of looking for the name you might just say oh I need 011 whatever so if you were going to load each one like this, and, and keep in mind, you're going to be looking at SUT files, dot uh, .sut. So you click one of these, and you have to do it in one motion, which kind of sucks, but you just click it and pull like this and drop it right in there. And see? There it is. So as simple as that. Now I think what some people might be doing is they're not, you know, having the windows kind of open like this where you can easily drag it over. So you got to keep that opening uh, and all it really is, at least on my setup, and I can't attest to everybody's setup, but if I was to hit File New and hit OK, that window is going to block what I need, and you'd have to move that out of the way or whatever. So just minimize whatever window you got. And like I said, I can't vouch that it's identical on a PC, but I, I would imagine it is. Uh, so this will at least give you the, you know, the knowledge on how it, you know, works or whatever. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it could look like, what I think some people might be facing, because I'm trying to understand any problems people might have when they do this. Uh, if you get the zip file, it's going to look like this. You can't drag the zip file into Mango Studio. It's not going to recognize the .zip. So you would double click the zip file. It would open it up like I've done multiple times here now. It's unfortunate. So let's see if I can con Command Z. I don't think I can. But at any rate, the other way is that you just grab all of these and drag them in there. So uh, let's see if I can do that now. So again, minimize this, get it out of the way. Let's grab all of these at once if we can. Let's bring the window back up so it's a bit of a dog and pony show here. Grab them, yeah, see how they're all still selected. And if worse comes to worse, you should be able to hover over Mango Studio. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I guess so. I had to do it in a roundabout way. But all I've done there, just so you understand, is I never let my finger off the mouse button. Uh, and I was able to get the windows to pop back open. So uh, let me see if it works. And I'm assuming it is. Yeah, see it all just loaded. Now I have duplicates in there of everything. So now i got to delete those out of there. But anyways, that's how you do it. So the other way that you do it, the more painstaking way, but if you have to, you have to. If, you, if your system doesn't work the way that mine does, um, I, can't, I can't really do anything about that. But you could just go here and go Import Subtool, and you could load each one uh, at a time. So, you know, I mean, that's definitely a, a lot more of a headache and a painstaking way to go through it. Hopefully you can get it to work the way that I've showed you here. Uh, but that's essentially how you would load uh, the brushes in Manga Studio all at once. So you would unzip the file, you would highlight them all, you might have to bounce back and forth of opening the windows, 
uh, and then you would drag them and drop them right into the you know the pen tool I would recommend putting them into the pen tool area but you know you really don't have to these windows are customizable you can add these uh, for different categories of brushes but me personally I would put it under pen tool because they're basically inking brushes uh, for Mango Studio so at any rate I hope that's helped you and given you a little bit of insight into how you can po uh, potentially load these brushes I appreciate everybody's support and purchasing the brushes it helps me you know keep uh, continuing to do what I do so that's great I thank you for that and uh, more are on the way real soon so uh, keep an eye out for those as well and if you got any questions, drop them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer you back. So thanks very much. Have a good one and we'll talk to you soon.